<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and in this video here, I'm going to be showing you something a little simple but really cool at the same time for anyone with a hard modded Xbox 360, such as this one right here, that is capable of running homebrew. So if you've got a JTAG or RGH and are interested in playing some original Xbox games, this should hopefully get you sorted. I'll be referencing this article posted over on Retro RGB by Durf for the new development and script that we're going to be looking at here called Zifu Spoofer, short for Xenon Fusion Spoofer. This will allow you to have a little bit more control over the original Xbox emulator on the Xbox 360, and many people think there's only one emulator for the Xbox 360 on original Xbox games, which, no, that's actually not true. There's technically eight, or well, at least eight here, thanks to some more recent development that we have seen. Now each file here for the emulator, each separate emulator has a separate build date and these are all updated versions of Fusion. Now each of these typically has specific updates for more games, even specific fixes for certain games. So that is why some people might think that even if there's eight different emulators here, the latest and greatest emulator will be the best one to play their original Xbox games, while as that is not the case. There's going to be specific emulator files right here that are typically keyed for specific games. Unless you have a hard modded Xbox 360, which has the modified backwards compatibility files, so you can technically boot up every single game. However, due to the default behavior, each game that boots up, which is not on the supported default list, will just automatically load up the most recent Zifu build. Before we delve further into this, if you would like a little bit of background, some history, and just some knowledge of how the emulator here works, this will be linked down below in the description, and I do recommend giving it a read not only it gives you information on what this is and how to use it and install it, but on top of it, it's just interesting to see, in my opinion, how the Fusion emulator really works. Now, over on console mods, they've assembled a list of the original Xbox games compatibility list for the Fusion emulator on 360. And you'll see here, this is all the original Xbox games and their statuses of what games have been tested against which emulator build for the Xbox 360. Now this is important because there's some games that do work fine, some of them are going to have some issues, and a lot of times it depends entirely on the Fusion emulator which has been selected. You can see here I'm going to try out Capcom Fighting Evolution, which for a couple of them only loads into the menus, but for other ones it can be playable, and you might get some extra benefits using different emulator builds for your specific game. I would definitely encourage you all after you set up this script as well too if you're interested and you have some games that you've been trying with different emulators to document your fixes, observations, and such on here, including recommendations. Not only can it help yourself out, but it can also help out the masses who are also trying to squeeze a little bit more original Xbox compatibility out of their hard modded Xbox 360s. Now, if you're ready to get started, there will be a few prerequisites that you will need. First of all, you must have a hard modded Xbox 360. Doesn't matter if it's a RGH or JTAG as long as it is hard modded. You're also going to need Aurora already set up and running running on your console. And you're also going to need the original Xbox modified backwards compatibility files set up and installed on your system. Next up, there's going to be two different ways I'm going to show you how to install this script, and thankfully it's pretty easy. The first one, in my opinion, is the easiest, in which you can download and install it directly through Aurora, as long as you have network access and internet access on your system. In order to do that, press the back button on your controller, go down to scripts, open up the Aurora repo browser, go down to utility scripts, and once you're in here, you're going to go down to the bottom, find Zifu spoofer, and tap A to select it. Go ahead, say yes to install this script, let it refresh, you can now back out of here, and once you exit out of the Aurora repo browser, you should see a new script here, which is going to be Zifu Spoofer showing up just like that. Now for our second option, if you're not on a network or you cannot get your Xbox on a network, you can just download the files individually and plop them onto a USB drive. In order to do that, I'm going to have the links down below in the description where you can download the zip file for the Zifu Spoofer script itself. Now if you've used USB drives on the Xbox 360, pretty simple here, plug your USB drive into your computer, make sure the file system is going to be FAT32, and once that's set up, we need to extract out the Zifu Spoofer zip. Use something such as 7-Zip to extract it into its own folder, and once it has been extracted out, you should have a Zifu Spoofer folder with a few files like this. You just need to right-click, copy this folder, go to your USB drive, and paste it anywhere onto the USB drive. 
Once it's been copied over, go ahead, safely eject your USB drive, and then take it over to your console. Once you're back over at the console, plug in your USB drive and make sure it has been recognized in Aurora. Once it has been recognized, you can press the back button on your controller, go over to File Manager. Now go over to your USB drive and find the Zifu spoofer folder that you have copied over. Once you find this, you can highlight it, move over to the left, and go down to the copy option to make sure you have it copied out. Once it has been copied, you can now go back, navigate up to Aurora, and within here, you're going to go to user, go down to scripts, go down to utility, and inside of here, go to the left and hit the paste option. This is now going to, of course, paste over that script that you just downloaded and copied over. From here, exit out of the file manager, go back into scripts, and once it loads in, you can see that the Zifu spoofer script has been set up and installed, just like that. Now, in order to use this here, before you launch whichever Xbox game you want to play, press the back button on your controller, go to the scripts option, load up the Zifu spoofer script, and once it loads up here and backs up these Zifu files, you can now select which emulator you want to use. Now do keep in mind, this is going to set this as the default emulator for all original Xbox games. So if you want to select the first one, for example, you can go ahead and select that. It will say Zifu file spoofed to whichever Zifu file you have selected. And once you exit out of there, you can now fire up your original Xbox game, and it's going to load up with that specific emulator. Now, once I'm in game here, I am going to just make sure this is working. So we have verified, at least on my end, that the menus are working for the original Zifu emulator. I'm just going to pick a couple of characters and let it load in. And to my surprise, this one actually worked. Now, it is playable technically. However, this one has been documented as a problematic game, where as you can see, it is slow and it does also have glitchy sprites. But this is different than the result we were seeing, which was this specific one, just the base Zifu emulator, was only really supposed to load into the menus. So it's nice we got a little bit of progress there. Now if you exit out and you want to try a different emulator, that's also pretty simple. Get back over to Aurora, press the back button yet again, go to scripts, go to Zifu spoofer, and then load in whichever emulator you want. You can see here, I'm going to load up the latest Zifu emulator, launch Capcom Fighting Evolution again, and give this a shot. Now, I did the exact same thing as before, but I did just a little bit of a test play, and to my surprise, I end up getting pretty much the same results with the latest emulator for this specific game that I end up having with the original, like, launch the very first Zifu emulator. So again, this is just something where you can try this out, you can document it if you wish to, which would be recommended, but sometimes you might get better results, sometimes you might get worse results. It just depends on which build and which game you're going to be playing and pairing up. Now, the last thing you can do, let's say if you just want to go back to the default selections on here, what was originally programmed with these emulators, you can go back into the Zifu spoofer script and hit reset to default. That way, if there's any games that specifically use a certain emulator, they're going to use those ones and any games that are not officially supported, but are going to be running with those modified backwards compatibility files are going to be using the latest emulator by default, which is going to be Zifu 7B, at least at the time of recording this. Anyways, that is about it for this video here. Hopefully this is something you were able to have some fun with, try out, get installed and up and running successfully on your modified Xbox 360 to squeeze even more compatibility out of it and get some more usage and features out of it, specifically here for original Xbox games. Anyways, that is about it for this video here. If you enjoyed it, a like would absolutely be appreciated. If you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too. As I always say, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone.